Hello and welcome to Untitled TV. Um, firstly, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is going to be the start of the uh, Road to Glory series that I'm going to be doing on FIFA 19. Uh, decided to do it with Mansfield just because they're the, one of the better teams I believe in uh, League 2. And they had a pretty half decent score to do, uh, start with. Um, this is probably going to be running until we do half decent in the Premier League. Um, hopefully uh, win the Premier League and get into Europe um, that's going to be a fair distance away because Sleep Man and Field are in League 2 and are utter shite really um, in this episode I'm just doing a commentary over the video that I've uh, recorded uh, using Elgato um, as you can see there I've got quite a, quite a half decent budget to work with um, along with the money that I get from the pre-season friendlies um, I do simulate all the pre-season friendlies um, and I just think they're fucking pointless I just want the money from them really and that's about it um, yeah so I hope you're all well um, if you if you like this episode please feel free to uh like subscribe and uh comment any feedback you have for me um i'm a complete novice to this so uh i'm just doing it as a hobby really just want um just want to have something to do outside of work life so if if you if you want to give me feedback please feel free because obviously i'm going to need a lot because i as as uh as i'm going to assume this first video is going to be shit but they may potentially get better as a uh, as I get used to doing this more. It's only the first video I've ever made, so hopefully it's not going to be too bad. Uh, as you can see, I'm just going through some of the options um, of who to sign before. Um, basically, it turned out my scouts scouted absolutely fucking no one, so I've resorted to um, doing some of the numbers for the squad. I did sign um, this Swedish bloke centre half. He looks pretty decent, 67 rated. He has some f pretty tasty stats there. Can't say his bloody name though. Nyholm, something Nyholm. That's what I'm going to call him, Nyholm. Um, and he he went straight into the first team, and he was pretty good, pretty good to be fair. Uh, I did make quite a few signings. Um, to be honest, probably more than maybe than what I had to make. But outside the first team squad for Mansfield, they're pretty dire. So um, I got in like quite a few backups, to be honest. Uh, I bought in Christian Burgess from Pompey uh, just as a backup. Probably never going to play, uh, if I'm brutally honest. But he, he's a pretty good backup. I've seen him play in real life. Um, at Fratton Park uh, when I've been there for an away game and uh, he was pretty good to be honest that was when that was when he was in League 2 though so he, he was probably a really good League 2 centre half um, did also sign Rob Hall from Oxford um, his just stats are sweaty as fuck he's so quick um, I think he's been one of my better signings to be honest um, I think he was quite cheap as well um, I think he's in the last 12 months of his contract on here, so he, he was pretty cheap. Um, who else did I get in? Uh, Scott Cashcat is back up from um, Wickham, back up winger. He, again, he's just bloody quick. Um, to be honest, Mansfield have got some like good players. Otis Khan, I know, was pretty good from his time at Yeovil. George Grant's a really good sign-in on loan. Uh, Nicky Jose, I didn't realise he was there. Um, he's been pretty prolific at most places he's gone to, I believe. I know he was quite good at Swindon. He was been at Charlton. I think Bury recently as well. Um, Tom Walker on loan from Nottingham Forest as well. He's a pretty good signing. Um, so yeah, at the moment I'm just sorting out the numbers because it really does bug me when players have like shit numbers. Like a striker having number two and stuff like that is just fucking annoying. Like, if you if, if you got number two, you're a right back in my opinion. You, you you're not a you're not a striker. 
So just sorting them all out. Um, before then, dipping into a few games. I think I played two or three games um, for this first episode. Uh, I'll probably average doing like two, two or three games uh, an episode. So this first game we had a uh, Newport County at home. Um, played pretty well to be fair, I, I think. I, um, not the ball around, just got used to using the team. Um, I think I tried to get out to uh, Rob Hall as uh, as much as I can. FIFA did a uh, did fuck me a little bit to start with because they uh, they're still the bug where uh, they. Uh, switch all my players around for some reason it's really annoying I didn't notice until about the 20 30th minute as well I think you'll you'll see me in a minute um change the squad around because I had Melis who's a center midfielder playing on the wing and it wasn't going well Tyler Walker moved out on the wing as well Yeah, just at the start of the game, had probably most of the ball. Newport having a bit of possession here, but uh, my big, big Swede, my big Swede cut it out there. And uh, it's a strike for Newport there, but it's quite easy to quite easy to handle. Play it out wide, Rob Hall. Yeah, I think this is where I noticed. I was like, it's saying in right here. So I had to swap all around. Right, all, uh, Rob Hall goes to uh, right mid. Oh, it's Khan up front. And uh, the midfielders are put on their correct side. And then, uh, then we carry on playing. Uh, George Grant on a break. Plays it into Tyler Walker. Oh, that's a great save by the keeper. Day. Who, uh... He was pretty good in the FA Cup against uh, Leicester and Borough. Shame he was shit against Man City, but I'm a big Swede into Mellis, and he has a great challenge by Newport. Rob Hall gets the ball, plays it into Nicky Jose, into Mellis. Can he cross it? He does. It was pretty poor and cleared away, but Otis Khan. Ah, that's a great finish. Great finish by Otis Khan. And uh, 34 minutes gone. That's a great start. To be honest, should be beating Newport. Then they're, they're not a great side. Even on, on on paper, they're pretty shit. And they're in real life, they're they're doing well. well they've done well in the FA Cup, but uh, I think 15th in the league. So it's not great. We should be hammering them really. If they're uh, dominating the the first half. We had, we do deserve that. Newport kick off for the second half, and uh, we get the ball pretty much straight away. Oh, it's Khan into Walker, Nicky Jose. Nicky Jose has got the ball, plays into Rob Hall. He needs to get the ball out wide. C J Hamilton crosses. David Pike clears. Benning, poor touch, absolute rapist touch. Nicky Ajayse plays the ball into Tyler Walker and that is an excellent finish. Absolute excellent finish there by Tyler Walker. Hopefully more of that. He'll probably be starting most games for me. He's a pretty pretty good striker on FIFA. As he just proved there because that was an excellent finish. The keeper was not getting that. Good ball through by Jose. Gets the ball, and that's the only place really he could have hit that and it go in. Day would have saved that at the front post, and that is near perfection. And Newport to kick off, being two 0 down now. There's a what half hour left, for forty minutes left. Uh, I make my first subs of the game. Um, uh, George Grant looks like he's coming off for McDonald. Uh, who actually quite rate actually. Um, Rose is coming on for Walker. So he's on a yellow. And Cashcat is coming on for Rob Hall. Pace for pace. And 
Let's see how this gets on. And here is Otis Khan. Oh. Cuts inside. Powerful shot. She's always rising. Done well to get a bit of space from the defender. McDonald. Poor pass. But Josie's got it. And he's been brought down there. He's been absolutely mullered by the Newport defender. Disgusting challenge. Pipe can fuck off as well. Look at him. Yeah, Mark O'Brien, shit challenge, mate. Grow up. Benin into Danny Rose. Oh, poor pass. Good idea, though. And that ends. 2 0 win. Take that first game of the season. It was comfortable. Never looked like losing the game. Stats say we dominated. Then we go into uh, the second game here. And we had Yeovil Town. Uh, at Yeovil so there's an away game going down to um, the southwest in the first two two games Newport and uh, Yeovil again Yeovil no disrespect to Yeovil but they're shit um, there's no way that we should be losing this game to Yeovil in real life they're crap just above the relegation in League 2 and uh they're not that much better on FIFA. I think they have got one or two good players. Though. I think Tom James. I think it's Tom James. They're right or left back. He's been linked with like West Brom. He's pretty good. I think Shawomney. It's a centre half for him. He's like seven foot. He's pretty decent. But we get the ball quickly again, and uh, eleven minutes gone, and we get a corner, and we cross it in, and look at that. Get fucked. What a goal. Good header. And I think it's the big Swede who's got it. I think it is Nyholm. Yeah, Nyholm's got it. Good uh, good signing that has been for uh, Mansfield. Solid at the back. Now he's uh, getting in goals. And uh, Rob Paul was on the wing, crosses it in. Oh, and should have done better there. Tyler Walker should have done better. He gets up above the defender who didn't jump at all. Absolute dog shit defending. Mellis breaks away, gets away from one of the midfielders who didn't challenge at all. Plays Rob Paul in. Rob Paul is in on goal. He cuts inside. Tries to finesse and puts it past the post. So it's good play though by uh, by Mansfield. That's quite a way off, but it's it's good though. And that takes us off to half time. One nil should be more. Little disclaimer: in the stats, we do absolutely annihilate Yeovil. They, they literally have no chances. So here we are with uh, Benin into George Grant. Nicky Jose. He has so much time. Mellis spreads it out to Hall. Hall loses out to the defender. And they've defended well there, Yeovil. Nicky Jose into, into Hall. And he's been taken out there. Penalty, no need for VAR. It's an absolute pen all day. Is a ref going to give a card? I don't think he does. But Tyler Walker, looking for his second goal of the season. He's got a decent bit of pace on that, and the keeper had no chance. 2 0 Mansfield. Well deserved. Happy with that. 54 minutes gone, 2-0, comfortable, and that is a uh, that is game over. You can just relax now, going into uh, the last last half hour of the game. 65 minutes gone, Yeovil make a change. Santos coming off. 
I decide to make a change as well. I think it's going to be a similar similar subs. McDonald coming on. Cash get. And a Josie coming off for Danny Rose. Yeah, Danny Rose comes on. See if we can get him a goal. Benning gets the ball. Just Grant. Mellis. A Jose. Plays it out wide into Rob Hall in space. Good first touch. Poor second though. And he uh and it gets taken away from him. McDonald gets the ball in the midfield. L looks for the through ball. I think he's offside though. Yeah, Cash gets offside. Should have played it sooner. He's unlucky though. And big head there by uh, the big Swede. Hamilton heads it away. I think that's going to be in the game. Blow ref. There it is. So two games played, two wins. It's happy days. Let's see if it actually, if I remember to show the stats or not. Because, yeah, there we are. The Oval did not ha even have a shot. To be fair, we only had five, but that's a, that's a dominating performance. Looking on the calendar, we've got Swindler coming up. Um, I'll play that behind the scenes. Uh, probably come back for about Crew Exeter. Crew Exeter or Exeter Cambridge. Either one we'll come back for. Come back for that. Anyway, if you have liked this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.